Hello there. Sir Reginald Buttwinker here, your favorite friend from across the pond, uh, back in the States for another wonderful event that's going to happen in Conway this 4th of July, that day that you got your you-know-what from us. And I'm here to tell you many, many things about this special day. This day is going to be called the Chessboro Challenge. Baseball, mm, your sport, baseball game. Now you may ask me, what is a Chessboro Challenge? It has not to do with the chest, it's chess, C-H-E-S, Boro. And he happens to be one of the people that you have in Conway who actually went into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Isn't that interesting? So, what everybody's decided to do is put together a baseball game that will bring the community together and probably the ambulance corps as well. What is it, you ask? It's called the Chessboro Challenge. Three innings, six games, slow pitch, underhand, I don't want to use the word baseball because we're never going to use a baseball, you see. There'll be players, all from Conway, ages 7 to 70, wheelchair standing by, like I said, to play this game. There will be six teams. We have the Honey Maples, the Splitters, uh, the Rag Shags, the Mountain Mamas being revived again, the Mountain Men. Now that doesn't mean that the Mountain Men are Mountain Men, because they're mixed, you see. And the Mountain Women aren't Mountain Women because they're mixed, you see. But the fun is this for you. No admission. There's going to be a beer tent. There's going to be hot dogs and, uh, well, you call them hot dogs. We call them meat rockets where I come from. Uh, hamburgers, cold drinks, and this lovely beer tent that I just mentioned where for those of you that are parched may go and satisfy your wet whistle. So, what do you say these games are about? I'll tell you what these games are about. They're about baseball in a kind of way that you may not have played before. Uh, we have four bats, for example. We have a frying pan. Uh, we have a wiffle bat. You call it a wiffle bat? Yes. A wiffle bat. Uh, we have a broom. Yes. We have a tennis racket. Yes. And we actually do have a softball bat. Now, the pitchers who will throw underhand are going to pitch a beach ball, maybe, a wiffle ball, maybe, a rubber ball, maybe, a volleyball, maybe, and maybe even a softball. The omnipotent announcer will announce to each player exactly which bat he may use and to the pitcher which ball he may throw. Oh, this is going to be so, so exciting. And, of course, we have many people of uh, my age uh, who can't run, who can't play, can't, don't even know what baseball is, like myself. And, and I do know lawn bowling and cricket. Uh, anyway, get back to the subject. Um, those people that can't run will have designated runners. All right, that's the games. Uh, three games, six ga three games, six teams, three innings each, and the Chesboro champion will be announced and awarded the trophy at the end. Now, what's in it for you beyond that? Ho oh, ho, we have prizes, raffle, tickets for sale, very cheap, there's no admission to the game, and we've been given wonderful, wonderful gifts. Uh, uh, breakfast at Baker's, um, meal at the Delaney House, um, Dick's Sporting Goods has supplied things, Wolfie's has supplied things, uh, Owesco, or Orchard Equipment as you call it, uh, is going to supply prizes. And <clears throat> one of the prizes will be uh, an autographed baseball, autographed by Madonna, Tom Hanks, uh, and Gina Davis. And I'm hoping to get some other baseballs autographed by some very famous people. One of which my wife gave a bath to in a sink when he was a boy. He was just around here locally, I won't mention his name. All right, so, then there we have that. The raffle, and one of the best prizes of all is me. Sir Reginald Buttwinker as your butler in a tuxedo for a day. Oh, and Interbuild is providing some lucky winner with a seven hours of free carpentry work on their home. There are many, many more prizes. Raffle tickets are five for a dollar. I mean, how can you go wrong, my friends? 
There will also be contests, tug of wars, egg toss, um, sack races, and just general mayhem and chaos to make your 4th of July a wonderful, wonderful holiday. So, get ready. Game start at 11 o'clock. They end around 4. Be ready to come to the wackiest kind of baseball you've ever seen. <laughs>